In this video, we will show you how to install MG5-6RL and MGL060. Step 1, Preparation Before Installation Please note the installation requirements. Next is some device, accessories, and tools. Reserve enough clearance around the inverter to ensure sufficient space for heat dissipation. Use a utility knife to cut the packing tape. Remove the packing box upwards, paper angle beads, and upper cushion. Step 2. Mechanical Installation One, installing the inverter. Reserve enough space when installing the mounting bracket. Place the wall mounting bracket to a proper position on the wall. Mark the positions and drill the holes. Place the expansion tubes into the holes. Then secure the wall mounting bracket to the wall firmly with the expansion bolt sets. Lift the inverter and slide it down along the wall mounting bracket to make sure they match perfectly. Must use two screw sets to lock both left and right sides. Step 3. Electrical Connection Keep both the AC and DC switches disconnected to avoid live line operation. 1. Heat Connection. Place the heat shrink or cold shrink tube over the cable. Strip the insulation of the cable to an appropriate length. Connect the terminal to the cable and secure it with a hydraulic pliers. Use a heat gun to tighten the heat shrink tube or cold shrink tube. Remove the screw on the grounding terminal and fasten the cable with a screwdriver. 2. AC Cable or Backup Connection Route the AC cable through the connector. Strip the insulation of the cable to 25 to 30 mm. Strip the insulation of the cable to an appropriate length. Crimp the terminals. Insert the L, N, and P wires into their corresponding terminals on the connector and tighten them. The attached instructions for using the disassembly wrench are for your reference. Assemble the connector. Remove the waterproof cap from the grid port. Insert the assembled connector into the grid port. The wiring methods for the grid and backup ends are the same. Remove the waterproof cover from the backup port. Insert the assembled connector into the backup port. 3. DC Cable Connection Strip the insulation from each DC cable by 7 mm. Assemble the cable ends with the crimping pliers. Lead the cable through cable gland and insert the crimp contact into the insulator.
tighten the cable gland and the insulator. Confirm again that the DC switch has been turned off. Check the cable connection of the PV string for polarity correctness and ensure that the open circuit voltage in any case does not exceed the inverter input limit of 500 volts. Connect the PV connectors to corresponding terminals until there is an audible click. Seal any unused PV terminal with a terminal cap. Four, battery connection inverter side. Loosen the swivel nut on the battery connector. Route the cable sequentially through the swivel nut and housing. Strip the cable insulation. Crimp the OT or DT terminals. Loosen the screws and remove the battery cover on the inverter side. Loosen the nut on the inverter side. Connect cables to corresponding terminals and tighten them securely. Fully tighten the battery connector's nut and secure the connector. 5. Gen Connection Remove the waterproof cap from the gen port. Insert the assembled AC cable connector into the gen port. 6. Ynet S2 Connection Remove the waterproof lid from the COM1 terminal. Ethernet communication. Assemble the Ethernet cable. Unscrew the swivel nut from the communication module and take out the inner sealing ring. Unscrew the housing from the communication module. Thread the network cable through the swivel nut and gasket. Route the cable into the opening of the ceiling. Insert the cable through the housing. Insert the RJ45 plug into the front plug connector. Install the gasket and fasten the swivel nut. WLAN communication. Remove the waterproof lid from the terminal and install Ynet S2. 7. COM2 terminal communication connection. Unscrew the swivel nut from the connector, then remove the terminal block. Remove the sealing ring. Route the crimped CT cables through it. Connect the CT wire ends to the CT plus and CT terminals on the pluggable connector. Connect the wire head to the cord end terminal. The wire end is connected to the smart energy meter, and the other end is inserted into the meter port of the plug-in connector. Strip the insulation of the cable to 40 to 50 mm. Strip the insulation of the cable to an appropriate length. Lead the cable through the cable gland. Remove the seal and lead the cable through the cable gland. Make network cable crystal heads. Plug the wires into the DO terminal of the COM2 terminal. Plug the wires into the BMS485 CAN terminal of the COM2 terminal. After securing the pluggable connector to the bottom of the inverter, secure the communication box. Hand tighten the communication box. 8. Battery connection, battery side. Install the battery mounting plate.
hang the battery on the mounting plate. Connect the ground wire to the battery side. Strip the insulation of the cable to 14 to 15 mm. Peel off the outer sheath of the power cable and crimp the terminals onto the cable. Connect the power cable to the battery side. Install the RJ45 connector onto the network cable. Connect the battery communication cable to the battery side. Step 4. Commissioning. Check the following items before starting the inverter. Power on the battery circuit breaker. Rotate the DC switch to on. The DC switch is integrated in the inverter. Turn on the AC circuit breaker between the inverter and the grid. Observe the LED indicator to ensure that the inverter operates normally.